Welcome to another Router Guides video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in the last video, I showed you how to use Narbix GNS3 files and configs, and I forgot to tell you the two things that you need to change inside of each .NET file, because if you don't change them, the thing's not going to work. It's going to blow up on you. So after you've downloaded and uncompressed the files, you're going to see a Narbix GNS3 Windows blank. So let's start with this one. We'll right click, we're going to edit with your whatever favorite text editing program you have. In our case here, it's going to be Notepad++. Click on there. There's two things you need to change. The first will be the location of your image file. You've got to be using the 3725 and preferably it's the one, the 12.4 T whatever and you can find this anywhere on the internet just do a google search you'll find it within five minutes don't ask me for it because i will say that you're a freaking idiot for not using google so after you download that image right click on it see if it uncompresses because a lot of these things are zipped up or in compressed format throw it somewhere where it makes sense in my case here i've made a cisco folder on my desktop and i just chucked it in there and image equals, and this is just a path to the image. Now, of course, uh, if you guys are used to just the GUI interface and you don't know how this works, it's gonna be C colon slash users, whatever your freaking name is that you use to log in, slash desktop. And if you're making a Cisco folder on your desktop, slash Cisco, and then the name of the file, it's gonna be case sensitive. And if you want, if uh, you're lazy, just call this router image, you know, so you don't have to type all this crap all in, and it'll make your life easier. So that's the image file location. You're gonna make sure that points to the right place. Idle PC, you're gonna have to figure this out by opening up GNS3 once, drag in a single 3725 router, fire it up, click play, terminal into it, and after you hit enter a couple times to get to the router prompt and enable prompt, just sit there, right click on it, idle PC, and you're gonna get a value, and that value is what you're going to paste into here. So this is just one .NET file that you're taking care of. You're probably asking, well, you know, in, in these workbooks I've got, let's say in OSPF, I've got 20 labs here, each with its own .NET file. Oh my God, what do I do? Well, if you're stupid, you probably would be clicking and editing with Notepad++ or Notepad one by one. But if you're smart, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Notepad++. So here we've got this topology.net and let me just move things around a little bit. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drag in all these .NET files from the different labs. And let's do five just to be just to be safe, but I would be doing this to all 20. So I've got all five topology.net files open for the first five labs of OSPF. Now, if I needed to change this idle PC, what I can do is I can highlight, control F, click on replace. So it's finding what? It's finding that idle PC. I would type in my new idle PC and I would click on replace all in all documents. That's going to fire through every single .NET file that I have open up here and replace them. And of course, remember to save them. So if you're using Notepad++, theoretically, you could you know, do these in batches of 20 and you'll be done in no time. If you're using regular Notepad, well, I feel sorry for you. So just save yourself some time and do Notepad++. All right, so that was a quick and easy video of how to change the idle PC value and your iOS image file location inside of these Narbic GNS3 configs and .NET files. Thanks for watching.